all right this is so painful this is so shocking and this is probably one of the worst things that i've ever seen in my entire life as far as football is concerned in africa especially on conflicts in europe and west asia cameroonians were looking for something else then again over the weekend when the french-speaking countries gathered in paris for a summit Cameroonians were once again searching for their missing in action president. So by now I'm pretty sure you all must have seen the news that Nigerian super eagles have been stranded in Libya for over 13 hours. No food, no Wi-Fi, nothing. What was the point of uh, arrival? Uh, the flight plan was uh, to land uh, as destination uh, Benghazi, Benina. And also, we are going to throw back to the past of all the things that has happened in Nigeria against other African countries, especially my host country, Ghana, who remembers 20, 2022. I don't forget anything. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back again with another video and I appreciate you all for tuning in to see this one. If you are new here, my name is Lillian. And to all of you, my returning viewers, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for keeping up with me on the school series in Nigeria. I mean, there have always been this rumor that when you do content about Nigeria, Ghanaians won't watch. So I hope I've used this one now to clear the hair. And you have seen how massive Ghanaians supported this series and how they watched it. A lot of Ghanaians wish Nigeria nothing but the very best. So they want the best for Nigeria so that Nigerians can be happy and stay there. You understand? So if they see anything from Nigeria, especially something good, they appreciate it. They like it. They are happy. <laughs> Anyways... That is appreciation on the Nigerian series, which I'm not think I don't think I'm done because I must post a video from Eastern Nigeria. You see, Eastern Nigeria is a must. If you not like, make you not beat me. If I don't post video from East, make I know it in Kosan. But no now, right now. Because right now there's a trending topic and I want to hop on it because already I have opened up to you guys that I want the views this season and I'm going to get my views from Nigeria or friends of Nigerians. Basically anyhow I could get these views, I'm going to get them. <laughs> And that is why I want to talk about this. Aside the fact that I want the views, I am not a fan of football whatsoever. I'm sorry if this is going to turn you off, but it's not my thing. You see football, matches and all that. I don't watch it. I don't know how it feels. And that is not my fault. Surprisingly, do you know the sport that I like? Wrestling. Yes, I like wrestling, but I don't like ball. But this topic is about football. And the reason I'm doing this is because there are so many lessons to be learned from this. What happened to the Nigeria Super Eagle players in Libya? I want us to talk about it. Of course, the town crier of the Nigerian people is out here questioning. There's so many things I want to talk about in this video. So let's watch him together. We will see what Nigerians are saying about it. And I mean, real Nigerians, please. Nigerians that has the interests of Nigeria at heart are saying about it. And also, we are going to throw back to the past of all the things that has happened in Nigeria against other African countries, especially my host country, Ghana, who remembers 20, 2022. I don't forget anything. We are going to hit on that. But first, let's take a look at Ajimaxi as he cries blood and have replies specially tailored made for him from Nigerians <laughs> who truly cares about Nigeria. Amen. All right, this is so painful, this is so shocking, and this is probably one of the worst things that I've ever seen in my entire life as far as football is concerned in Africa. And this goes a long way to tell you how people treat Nigerians out there. We agree, we accept, and see how people treat normal Nigerian citizens, normal Nigerian immigrants in their countries. But what gives you the audacity to treat Nigerian super eagles the way Libya just did. And I don't know why Nigerians are quiet about it. I don't know why Nigerians are acting as if this is normal. Because this is the height of it. This is the height of disrespect. These Arabs, they are known for this. All of these Arab countries, all of them. Egypt, Morocco, Libya, 
Tunisia, all these Arab countries, I don't, I don't feel about like them. I don't even know why they are part of Africa. They should form their own Arab League. They, are, they should stay in Arab. Seriously. They are acting as if they are begging them to be part of Africa. We don't need you Arabs to be part of Africa. You can stay and be Arabs. Because this is the height of it. This is absolutely the height of it. And it's about time Africans let these people know. If they don't want to be Africans, they should go and be Arabs. We don't even need them. Do you understand? Because this is absolutely insane. This is absolutely insane. What for? What is the justification for the li uh, Liberia, Abina, Libya, or whatever they call themselves? Libya treating Nigeria super eagles the way they did. They, and they are still currently facing challenges. I'm sure they are supposed to play that game today. They are supposed to play that game today. But they have done everything possible in their power to, to, to hold Nigeria super eagles hostage in their country. Give them the worst treatment that a footballer can ever receive in their life. And expect the Nigerian Super Eagles to go and enter the field and play a football game with them. Everybody did do this to Nigerians. I don't know why Nigeria government is too linear. I don't know why. The Nigeria government takes a lot from all these African countries. They take it too much. Nigeria government needs to start making it clear to African countries that if you do anyhow with my country, with my countrymen, with my citizens, if you cannot treat my citizens well, know that you and I have no business. Know that we, you and I don't have anything to talk about. Anyways, you are saying Nigerians are quiet and all that. Yeah, actually, mm, Nigerians are not silent about it, okay? Nigerians are speaking about it. And now let me show you a video of a Nigerian who I know for sure that has the interest of Nigeria at heart a nigerian who has the interest of nigeria at heart has this for you and for us i hope you're willing to listen let's listen to that hmm? what you do to others will be surely done to you and maybe this is going to be a sound warning to some of you propagandists who sit down, who are in the habit of instigating hate. Because you know who go suffer around? Now your children go suffer around. Now your children, now them go suffer around. That time you don't go there again. The children, now you go suffer. Let's listen to this by a very dark man, a true Nigerian. <laughs> are you ready? All right. So by now, I'm pretty sure you all must have seen the news that Nigerian super eagles have been stranded in Libya for over 13 hours no food no wi-fi nothing that when they went to libya to play football their flight was redirected instead of landing in benghazi they took them somewhere else do you understand and they shut the door at them they cannot go anywhere now um due to my little investigation it seems the libyans are doing payback to what nigerians did to them allegedly i just read an article where the libyans when they came to nigeria to play their flight was supposed to land in Aquaibo and the flight landed in Port Harcourt. Do you understand? So after they eventually landed in Aquaibo at the end of the day for the match, they complained to the NFF. The NFF, this is a very poor treatment. You understand? We have suffered in your country. You now suffer also this country and it is not fair. But the NFF do not, did not do anything about it. Do you understand? Now, if this story is true, if this story is true, then to be honest, it's an eye for an eye. May Super Ego just bear the pain a little bit. May they suffer the suffer small. If the story is true. Because you know, especially I'll come in your country, you go treat me bad, then you can't come my country, I'll come throw party for you, give you Range Rover Sports. It does not work like that. It's an eye for an eye. Do you understand? You are not any way better than the Libyans, and the Libyans are not any way better than you. And I don't know why we Africans are going at each other like this. It makes absolutely no sense. But in all of this, who are to be blamed? Now NFF, now NFF they go blame with their poor planning. You understand? And NFF self, if they say NFF do anything, I go believe. No be NFF, I be a calf. No, that one no be NFF. Uh, all of them are the same at the end of the day. No be which people go Olympics, they don't get bicycle. Now we see Nigeria. Now Nigeria sporting blah blah blah. All of them they together. Not the people who feel it matter, they never see so to today. Do you understand? So they are so not serious. The sporting director, everything about this country just there near. But if this one are saying is actually true that they were giving poor treatment when they came to Nigeria, then my friend Boniface, 
I mean, no, you know, be my friend. We just they follow each other. I never talked to him before. Then uh, Boniface is <laughs> become on your Twitter. You will see. Do you understand? Then Boniface, you will have to bear. You go suffer as small, eh? And every other super ego is now suffer as small. So that next time, if something happen, we now go open our mouth, speak against any injustice at anyone. You know, say we Africans would always better. We always believe say if you not affect us directly, you not touch us with that. You don't know, say, wait till you don't speak against today, go come back, come bite you tomorrow. Do you understand? Do you understand? Eh? Ajim, I, I know you've been watching my videos, okay? From your other videos, I see, I know you've been watching my videos. I hope you see the answer to that. For a Nigerian that has the interest of Nigeria at heart, we do not support bad things. Do you understand? A very dark man is one of them. And my brother be that too. Eh? We'll be South South. Southerners. You understand? Because normally, normally, that is how we were raised. That is why you see me. I can't go out there and have a fight and run to the house. I looked for trouble and I'm fighting. They will send me back. Mama will send me back to go and fight. You see that fight? You will go back there. Make them beat you. They go beat you well. So that next time, you know, go do them again. Because she's not going to support me. Because especially for the fact that I'm wrong. Do you understand? It's not everything we do that will... In my part of Nigeria, that is southern Nigeria, when you do something, they will expose you. We know they cover you. You know why? Because we don't want others to do it back to us. It's not good. I think Very Dark Man has answered the question. He has answered, he has cleared your confusion. Instead of you to be bothered about this... Ajim, where is the president of LABM? What is it called? Instead of you to be bothered about what the UN is saying about the president of your country, Cameroon, you are here killing yourself about another country. And uh, rah, 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 we, we complain. Did we tell you we are not happy about it? I am okay if this is it. And this is why I talked about the issue of uh, this Ghanaian lady that is still missing. Some days ago, I made a video here talking about the Ghanaian lady that is still missing in Nigeria and how the issue is being handled. I could see some Nigerians coming at the comment section to insult me, calling me names. Eh, she will not see him. That is a foreign lady. We know they see him. She don't miss for Nigeria. They know they see him. They don't know where she is. Her family is looking for her. Her husband, who is a German, is looking for her. Her husband's host country, United Emirates, <laughs> is interested in that case. The government of Ghana is interested in that case. See the, see the legacy of how the, this case is being handled. And then tomorrow, when our guests begin the miss for some of African countries, when I go come out here, come they cry blood. Sure you understand, when we are speaking up, it's not like we hate our country. I love Nigeria because why not? I love Nigeria because I don't have any other choice. I am a Nigerian. Just that I don't like my country because of the things that are happening there because of the things that are allowed to happen there now where is the president of cameroon Ajim? that is what you should be concerned because the whole world is asking let's take a look at this together Last month, while the world had its eyes on the all-important United Nations General Assembly to see what global leaders had to say on matters of geopolitical importance, especially on conflicts in Europe and West Asia, Cameroonians were looking for something else. Their president, who was expected at the United Nations but did not turn up. Then again, over the weekend, when the French-speaking countries gathered in Paris for a summit, Cameroonians were once again searching for their missing in action president. The absence of Cameroon's 91-year-old president, Paul Bia, from two important public events sparked rumors on social media that something was wrong with him. So, Ajim, where is the president of your country? <laughs> the only African country that is not part of the YouTube partnership program. Where is the president of your country? Ajim Magzi. Mm? I've given you so much publicity lately, but that is fine. It's your luck. Because lately I've been talking about Nigeria and you are very much available. So where is the president of your country, Ajim Magzi? What happened if it is our own? You see, as bad as our country be, if now our own president try this kind of thing, now we we'll go make noise, we we'll go, 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 vex. You understand? Even if we don't feel do anything, but we we'll go sharp, express ourselves, and the world will see that we are truly angry. But you can't dare do that. <laughs> so maybe in secret. 
Can you whisper to us where the president of your country is? <laughs> I want to give you, I want to make a deal with you. If you can make your videos for one month without mentioning Ghana in a negative manner, I promise you, I will stop talking about you. I, I will stop dragging you. I will stop reacting to your videos. I will support you. I will help you. If you can do me this favor, just one month, keep the name of my host country out of your mouth for one month, especially when you associate negativity. I promise you, you see one month, I'm not gonna talk about you again, but otherwise I'm going to be making content with you until after the election in Ghana, then I'll go back to the usual videos I used to do, which is showcasing the incredible public sectors in Ghana. Do you understand? Sure you get it. Now, Nigerians are not quiet. Like you are saying, everyone is quiet. We are acting, we are asking questions, but we they like to know what in custom. Like we want to know. Now, listen to this. Now, let's take a look at this interview with um, the pilot that convert Nigerian super ego to, that was supposed to like take them to Libya. Libya yesterday. What was the point of uh, arrival? Uh, the flight plan was uh, to land uh, as destination uh, Benghazi, Benina, but unfortunately, and we got the approval from uh, the Libyan Civil Aviation of, uh, Authority that we are approved to land in Benghazi, but unfortunately, when we start descent, they asked us to divert to uh, Nabrek which is at uh, almost uh, 150 miles, that means 300 kilometers uh, around uh, uh, more far, but it's at the east. So it, was, uh, it wasn't uh, our, even our alternate, uh, something which is not good because uh, in aviation we have our flight plan, we calculate the fuel to our destination, so we have to avoid uh, this kind of thing because it may uh, uh, make a bridge to uh, safety. And uh, when I insist to land in uh, Benghazi according to my flight plan and according to my authorization, they said no. Uh, it's uh, from the highest authority, you have to land in uh, Labrag uh, al -Baida. So the, the Libyans are saying that it was your discretion to land in uh, no, 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 everything is, uh, is registered. In aviation we cannot, we cannot hide anything. So I asked them several times, at least eight times, and I warned them probably I will be in trouble uh, for uh, fuel, they said it's from highest authority. You cannot land in uh, Benghazi. You have to divert immediately to uh, Labrador. Thank God, we uh, make it safely, and we landed safe in. Uh, now from this interview with the pilot you can see that it's not even about if i we should be thanking god what we should be doing now is thank god almighty for their lives you can hear him it is a dangerous thing in aviation to be ordered to land at a different airport what we should be thanking god now is for their lives that they did nothing do then they know by you understand today now for the cry you understand some of us go cry tire see when you don't handle issues right your people will be there will be your people will continue to suffer you understand like nigerians are suffering now all over the world what are, why do you think we are suffering like that why do you think we are suffering like that we are paying for the sins of the past the sins of the father that is what we are paying for you don't know you go here people don't like you so we should be thanking god for we should thank god for their lives okay Going even worse that some of us were not raised to know how to behave. We don't know boundaries. We do not respect boundaries. We find fault instead of good in others. What we are constantly doing is to look for fault and use that as, a, a, an, as an avenue to complain in other people's land instead of us to look for the positivity for the positives and make two with it and be grateful for it because if it is okay at home we would have been home so you see 
this is what happens when your system handles issues and then when we want to speak up here, they handle issues like, uh, well, so what? Where is the Ghanaian lady that is missing? Where is Afiba and her friend? Fine, her friend is Nigerian. Or we have been missing like that. Mm, Nigerian women have been missing like that. So where is this foreigner? Where is she? Where is she? I, I made a video here the other day. I said, according to her husband, in that video, the guy said, the policeman, the spokesperson of the Nigerian police force was laughing. I made a video here. You people called me Omali. You called me a bastard. She will not see him. Then go to pay us back and we handle it. Now, who remembers in 2022 when the black stars of Ghana were in Abuja play against, you know, that friendly match against Nigeria, right? And this, the black stars of Ghana were training, training because come on, you have to train. You know what happened? They went to switch off the lights, the light to frustrate them so they won't train again so that they can go, go. They say they should go and sleep. When the guys were complaining, oh, come on, on the light for us, we are still training. They say, go and sleep. You are not the only one playing so that the following day, they will not be able to play you. It is wrong. It is wrong. You see, they seed you so is what you will reap. You may not reap it today, but what about tomorrow? Your future, your children, hmm? it was everywhere. Last, last, Black Stars of Ghana won them. Me, I made a video talking about it. They came for me. Nigerians came for me. They wanted my head on the table. You are a useless, this, you are an ashawo as usual. <laughs> you are a this, you are a that, you are a rebel, you are a mumu. She be today in Adonsia. When something happens, do not encourage bad things. Okay, I love Nigeria. You don't love Nigeria more than me. But there are things that happen that you should condemn. By the time people come on the internet and see that one, two, three, three, four, five is against that, it's against it. It will give them some sort of relief. Okay, oh, the, it's not everyone that is in support. After all, they are not all bad things. Uh, they are not all, all, all Nigerians are not bad people. But you people don't want that. You want to silence those of us that can speak. You see what has happened to you? Eh? Here you see them. I Jim, they cry. I Jim, stop crying for Nigeria. Go and look for Paul Bia. Eh, go and look for the president of your country. They are looking for him. Uh -uh. You do partnership program on an old day. That is dangerous. And the way Nigeria is going now, me, I'm scared because this is the only source of income I have. How am I going to survive? If we don't behave ourselves and the YouTube disconnect us, what you make me a con do? As a Nigerian, what should I, what, what, what waiting I go con do? So, my dear people of Africa, nobody hates you. Hmm? People are paying you back and there's nothing wrong with it. My best friend's mom used to tell me something. The type of water that you use to water other people's plants is the one that the universe will use to water your own plants. If it's hot water you are using to water other people's plants, don't worry. The universe will help you water hot water on your own plants and they will die. If it is good water, if it is good intention, so basically what you do to others shall be done unto you. <laughs> so super ego, I'm not sorry. I don't feel bad for what happens to you. If, if what very dark man said is true. And why should I even doubt it? Didn't you guys do it to Ghana? Black stars when they came to Abuja. And at the end of the day, there's this score. Do good and leave it there. Mm. Do good. There's no harm in doing good. Do good and let people pay you back with evil. It's better than you doing evil. And then they pay you back with evil. Then you can't take it. Do you understand? <laughs> I'll see you guys in. I'm not done with the school series, okay? A video must come from the East. If I know to am, I can know it in cause I'm, I'm looking for videos from the East. <laughs> Eastern part of Nigeria. Ah, this is my brothers. They, they will then go beat me, but fine. We are one, Abby. Go do video from the East.